My name's Andy Hurley. I'm the executive director here at the Community Boating Center. I just want to uh, say a few words and welcome you all. Uh, thank you for coming to help celebrate this amazing accomplishment by this amazing group of individuals. It's actually really amazing. So this actually started off as just sheets of plywood random pieces of wood that they were able to bring together and actually create this magnificent boat here. So, special round of applause for these guys, but... You know, I just wanna... I wanna quickly thank Richard Feeney. He's our education director here. It's really his brainchild, this whole program. So, nice job, Richard. And Eric Ruther over here was one of our lead instructors on this program and really helped guide the kids through the process. So Eric, nice job. But I'm going to hand the mic over now to Richard and let him say a few words. So nice job, guys. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, entirely appropriate that Eric should be up here. Uh, he was assisted greatly by our program director, Greg Pimentel, who's taking a well-deserved vacation this week. Um, so I really don't have much to say, but I want to frame up that what we're doing is we're going to launch this boat today. It's never been in the water. It's never been leak tested. Um, and we're going to christen the boat. We're going to give it the name. And we're going to uh, ask the gods of the sea, Poseidon and Neptune and any others that may be out there for um, safe passage because the sea is so big and our boat is so small that we need all the help we can get. Um, so that's what we're going to do, and it happens in two halves, essentially. The first half here, where we really want to celebrate the builders of the boat and their accomplishment. You've done fine work, and you should be proud of this boat. I hope you are. And then the second half will be down by the water. We'll carry the boat down to our floating dock and pause momentarily to open the traditional bottle of bubbly uh, to finish the ceremony. And then these guys will get to go in their boat for the first time ever. So um, without further ado, I want to uh, turn it over to the building team here, and I understand you've uh, prepared a couple of remarks, uh, but I don't know exactly what's going to happen now. So <laughs> congratulations! All right. So I wrote a speech. I wrote a speech um, the past week when I found when I was asked to, and um, this is just what I've been writing and learning. So I wanted to welcome everyone. My name is Dave Lugo. I wanted to start off by saying thank you to everyone who came to this event today. I also wanted to thank all the staff at the Community Boating Center who helped us build this boat that we have been working on for, for several weeks now. Unfortunately, one of the Community Boating staff who helped with the, this boat could not attend the event today. But don't worry, he is having a great time on a cruise. The, 
The first day, Middleborough campus and the Cape Cod campus went to the community boarding center. We all introduced ourselves by saying our names and saying something we like to do. We also reviewed the blueprints and discussed the plans for the boat. During the first couple of weeks, we really didn't know each other, so it was a little bit of a struggle for us to work together. Throughout the first couple of weeks, we started to get to know each other and build relationships. We eventually began to work as a team. When it came down to pl planning the wood, we all had a little bit of a struggle knowing what to do. But as a team, we asked how to plane properly. Then we planned the wood to where it was supposed to be. Once we finished building the boat, we had to sand and prime the boat. Once we did that, we had to choose the colors we were going to paint the boat. All right, and then this is what I learned. Over the course of my time at the community building center, I learned how to use many different power tools. For example, I learned how to use a jigsaw and cut many different angles. I learned the proper way of sanding things with an electrical sander. During the process of learning how to use a power sander, I also learned the difference between each type of sandpaper. For example, P80 means there is 80 pieces of sand per square inch. I am very grateful that I was offered the chance to work on this project. I am glad I, I was able to meet the staff at the Community Boating Center. I would love to thank the staff for being great role models to me and to the students who helped build the boat. Finally, I would like to thank the staff for teaching the students valuable lessons. I would like to wish you fair winds and following seas. Thank, thank you, you and have a great day. Anyone else? Like to say anything? Can we just introduce the building team? Generosity Ortiz. Macy on a house lender. David Lugo. Alec Gardita. <laughs> Kinez Roberts, I'm more of a tourist. <laughs> Julian Turner. Sean Rivera. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Um, and I'll, I'll just finish by saying what uh, Andy said, that we did start from scratch with this boat. We scarfed together plywood. And you will see some other ones down on the dock. Um, and you'll notice differences. These all come out different. It's, it's the real thrill of them is what we call real world problem solving is all sorts of unexpected things happen. And we, we, we move forward. And, and in my opinion, this is the best looking one we've ever done. So I'm really, it was really fun working with you guys. And nice job, Eric, and all, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. I'm, at this point, I'm going to turn over to the, the JRI, who, who came to us. Uh, you know, I must say that, um, you know, it's a dream when you guys call us up and say, hey, can we do this together? We said, of course we can. We'd be happy to. <laughs> Thank you. So on behalf of Anchor Academy and JRI, we just wanted to thank both of you and all of the Community Voting Center for your partnership with Anchor Academy. It's been an amazing experience for our students. and. Um, I don't think it's something we could have done on our own without you. The hands-on learning that you've been able to tie into our vocational program with Brad Hibbert is something that we look forward to continuing uh, for many years to come. So thank you. Thanks, Angie. And I just, you stole my expression about um, the sea is so wide and my boat is so small, which I heard on Children's Day, June 1st, I don't know when, probably 1980. Um, uh, in DC, when that was the theme of the day, is the sea is so wide and my boat is so small, and that's how I feel like our kids go through many of their experiences, and it seems like such a good fortune that we were able to um, come together with you folks who take advantage of this wonderful water that we have all around us in this area, that this is what our kids need to be learning and doing for their hands-on experiences um, and picking up a skill that they can use, whether it's recreationally or in workmanship or in their um, builders' lives. Whatever they go on to do, they can make use of what they learn here through teamwork, through the, express through the experiences that the kids have already outlined, and through the work with you folks. So it's been tremendous for us, and we thank you sincerely sincerely for the efforts on our kids' behalf. And on behalf of Anchor Academy, we present you with this Whoa. gift for you. So these are some of the pictures that we put together of you working with our students. So thank you. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, so I understand we're naming this boat Anchor One today. <laughs> Why don't you um, take it down to the water and let's do this. Hey,